Hello, good morning. Welcome to Referral Auto Group and congratulations for buying this beautiful trailer from us. Um, you bought from the right place and thank you. Uh, this front cap is really beautiful on your Durango. Uh, you got some nice LED strips there. I'm gonna go through your whole trailer. My name is Felipe, nice to meet you. Uh, like I said, you got a real nice package here. So we'll start in the front, we'll go around the outside and then we'll jump inside. If there's any questions I don't answer throughout this walkthrough, go ahead and write those down and we'll get some good answers for you. Um, I'll find a good answer if I can't answer it myself here. Um, so right this way. Nice size front compartment there. You're gonna be able to store some stuff in, whatever you would like. Um, possibly even a generator if that's something you are interested in. Um, but you do have solar on board, converter, a lot of good stuff going for you here. You can download an app on your phone that will let you control a lot of the systems that are on this trailer. It's really impressive as well. So right this way. You have auto level on this Durango. Real easy to use, you just have to be patient with this system. Um, there's a couple things that will lock you out of this screen here. If you have low voltage, if it times out, or if it's out of stroke. Um, so first of all, you want to be on level, somewhat level ground before you start this process. Uh, but it will do the rest for you. Uh, real easy and user friendly. So to power this screen on, I have to push both arrows. There we're powered on. Those arrows are going to control my front two legs. I can go up with the trailer or down with the trailer. If you're in some sticky ground, make sure your steps are up before you start to auto level so you don't ruin anything at your door frame. Um, you always want to start with your trailer a bit nose high. It always seems to work better that way. Uh, if you look right down here, you have an electrical part of your leg that's going to be controlled with those two arrows I was telling you about. The rest of this leg is mechanical. You have to do by hand. You'll pull this pin and drop your leg there. Um, so when I'm unhooking from my truck, I always drop at least six inches here electrically and then the rest of my pin leg there. Um, you can get blocks to save your jack a bit, make it easier to unhook. If you're at an incline where you're parking it, that would be recommended as well. Um, so anyways, when I'm unhooking, I drop six inches here, the rest of my leg there, and then I'll start the system over here. All I have to do is hit auto level. It'll do the rest for me. It'll start with my front legs. After that, it'll drop my back legs. Once my back legs are down, it'll start to tilt a bit, left and right, to get to the um, right position. All I have to do is sit here and make sure everything is fine. My light is flashing red, a uh, green, excuse me. That's good. If it was flashing red, I fault it out for some reason. As I was saying before, there'd be a few reasons for that. Um, in order to clear your fault, you have to go inside. There's a secondary screen in there where you'll be able to clear your faults. Um, I always recommend coming back out here to level again, just because you can see what's going on. If you try leveling inside, you can't see which leg's coming down at what pace, and uh, it's kind of more of a safety type deal at that, at that point. Um, not just that, but you're walking around in the trailer, kind of moving it a bit, so. After you clear your fault, come back out here and try to level out here again. If you have any issues with this system, please just call us and we'll try to give you some good answers. Um, another thing with it, as I was saying before, is the patience part of it. Sometimes these screens will have to time out before you start another option. It takes about 15 minutes or so for that light to turn off. Um, so if you have an issue there, just let it time out. Try to start over from where you were. My back legs are down, it'll start to tilt. Once that light is solid green, we know we're level there and we're good to go. In this compartment here, you'll have some more instructions, somewhat like what I told you now, um, about your auto level here. Right here you have two seven gallon tanks, both full for you. Um, ready to use. Your trailer's been leak tested. Everything on this trailer's been tested. I spent a lot of time with this trailer. Um, if there's any issues you find, please let us know, but you're in great shape here. This, this arrow here is indicating which tank I'm using. I always recommend using one tank at a time so we don't run completely out. 
So I'll use this tank. If I run out, I can switch this over and start using this tank. So give me a day or two to fill the other one up. It will switch over automatically if you had them both open. But like I said, I like using one at a time there. Right over here, you have a pass-through compartment. Real nice size. You'll be able to store a lot of good stuff in there. Um, you also have your water fill station and a couple other options in here as well. Um, so my light is solid green here. I know I'm level. We're good to go there. Everything's working fine. Um, now I'm ready to hook up my truck. I want my back legs up. There's a button here that says hitch height. If I hit that button, my back legs will come up and my front will adjust somewhat to where my truck should be. After the trailer hooks up to your truck, it'll be more adjusted. Um, I still wouldn't recommend trusting it all the way. I would recommend looking at the hitch before you completely hooked up there. Um, anyways, hitch height will bring my back legs up. Once I'm locked onto my truck and I know it's secure, I can hit retract all and I won't have to hold anything. All my jacks will come up completely. Um, Except for the manual part, which you'll have to do yourself. You have to pull the pin and pick the rest of your leg up. Make sure the pin goes through the other side of that leg so you don't lose your, one of your front legs there. Anyways, let's move back towards the back of the trailer here. Like I said, a really nice size storage area there. Um, and your water station. You have an outdoor shower area, wash port area. You get hot and cold out of here. You got a nice spray hose here you'll be able to quick connect to there um, you have some connections for outlets tvs whatever you would like outside you have a satellite option okay, here. that's more of like an upgrade type deal you have to get a contract with the company and make sure you know you get the right setup there um, the cable tv option here if you go to a casino and they offer a, coax, offer a coax line for you, you can plug that in here and scan for cable channels. On your trailer, you have a built-in antenna which will have to be powered off to direct that signal this way. Um, I'll show you where that button is to turn off the antenna. But anyways, the built-in antenna that's on your trailer actually works really well. Um, you'll have to, once you get to your campsite, You'll have to scan for channels on the TV and it'll find any channels that, uh, that are local there. Um, it's a real nice setup. You don't have to crank anything. <laughs> right here's our water fill station here. So we have a bunch of instructions which will make it easy for us. We have two valves, valve A and valve B. Um, so city water is the first one here. That's constant water to my faucets. It bypasses my water pump and my fresh tank. Uh, you want to regulate the pressure going into these trailers. Too much pressure will damage your water lines. So we do recommend water pressure regulators. Um, and your inlet is here. All clean water going in here that you're using for your trailer. That's your inlet. So I hook my water hose up there, open it, and go to my city water option. Both these valves are off in that case. I'm not using my water pump. Constant water to my faucet. Great pressure, not too much. You don't want to damage it. Um, keep your faucet on, you're good to go there. When I go to dry camp, I use the same inlet, but I have to fill the tank first. I have to make sure that A is on and B is off. Now I'm filling my fresh tank. It'll show you your levels inside, or you can download an app where you can control most of your trailer on, um, and you would be able to see on that as well. So when I'm on my pressure fill option, I have B off and A on. I'm filling the tank up. Once my tank is full, I'll have to turn my faucet off, unhook my hose, and then change it to dry cap. If I don't, my water won't come out, and that'll happen a couple times. You just be, come out here and kind of adjust those knobs there. Um, so I'll have to go to dry cap here, A off and B on. Now I'm able to use my water pump and the water inside that's with my fresh tank. Besides that, guys, you can stick your hoses up through the bottom here and lock your storage door still. You have a black tank flush here that's going to clean the inside of your body waste tank. Um, so what I would do is I would drain my black tank first, put a hose in here to flush the inside of that better. Make sure your gray handle is closed so that you don't mix those waters there. Um, 
once once that's all flushed out i'll pull my gray handle and drain my sinks and showers at that point get a little bit more water through your sewage hoses right here you have a nice exterior light you're already pre-wired and installed the three camera setup with the seven inch monitor real nice setup there this is your left camera here right down here is your sewer outlet connection you'll be able to put your sewer hose there and drain everything you have two handles down here gray and black black is body waste gray is sinks and showers your tires are all torqued they're nice and tight for you they're filled with nitrogen so they won't expand with heat or sunlight they're really pretty as well i like those wheels Right over here, this is the outside of your fridge here. Your fridge has an automatic setting, so it'll work off of electricity or gas. Um, right now it's on. Right now it's on propane, so we know that's working well and it should be cold for us. Um, you don't have to do much here besides service. Make sure it's clean from debris. Make sure it's dust free. If you have issues with bugs, you can screen it, but until then, you know, just make sure you're, you're clean there. Um, Right this way. So these are my back legs. Those are down. Those are nice and strong. Those are supporting our trailer. So we're not moving left and right there. Um, this is the outside of my furnace here. That's going to be blowing hot air from the heater. That vent there, that'll be a vent for your stove. Real nice. That's your backup camera there. That's going to be your rear one. You have a walkable roof. You can get up there, blow the top of your slides, blow the top of your awning, make sure everything's clean up there. Wipe down your solar panel if you need. Um, make sure your roof is in good shape. We do recommend upkeeping that. Uh, but yeah, it's just a nice thing to have a, a ladder to be able to get, get up there and kind of service you on stuff and make sure it's nice and clean. Uh, right here you have a tow package as well. Real nice tow package, 3,000 pound tow rating. So you'll be able to hook whatever you would like there. I would probably put a, ki a kayak rack, kayak rack. That looks fun and sounds fun. Um, but yeah, that's a real nice setup there. You have gutters on all four corners of your trailer to keep the water off the side of your trailer. Real nice, real big awning. It's gonna be beautiful when it's out. You have an awning LED strip there. You got exterior speakers with lights. You have a water heater right over here. Your water heater, same thing, just make sure it's clean. You have an anode rod here that's gonna collect calcium from your hot water. After a lot of hot water usage, that'll start to corrode. Instead of your water heater corroding, that rod corrodes. Um, after about a year or so, if you're using a lot of hot water, you're gonna wanna replace that. Um, you have an electric option on your water heater, so you could save gas if you're at a full hookup. You have a switch here, you don't have to worry about turning that off. You could turn it off inside or on your phone if you got the app. This is your other camera. Seven inch monitor. You have a suction cup and a stand. It's pretty cool. So what you'll have to do for that is you'll have to plug it into your 12 volt that's in your truck and turn your headlights on manually. Once that's on, it'll turn that screen on for you. Real nice setup. You'll be able to see one camera or all three. Um, I believe you can hear from that as well. So if someone's back there, they can kind of guide you a little more. We're gonna beef up your table and make sure that's nice and sturdy for you. Make sure it supports you guys because it is a little bit flimsy and uh, we wanna make sure you're well taken care of. So we're gonna set that up for you today. You have an easy start on one AC, which is gonna help you start your AC a lot easier. If you're maybe off of a 30 amp service and you wanna start that or a, a generator, um, it's gonna make it a lot easier to be able to start your main AC um, without any issues there. At that point, I would recommend as well a surge protector um, just to protect all your electrical appliances from any outages or shortages or bad connections. Um, other side of your storage, you have your converter here. So what you'll be able to do with that is it actually turns your battery power into outlet power. I believe that turns on your TV possibly. 
and some of your some of your outlets there inside the trailer. Um, you're gonna have a password and code right down here on the sticker for that app to download, or you'll have it throughout your manuals. You'll have manuals for everything on the trailer here, um, as well as Tony's video, which is quite descriptive descriptive on the on the specs of this trailer, how much it weighs, what type of axles it has, the auto leveling system, the brands, and everything like that. So I think you guys are in good shape here with us. Um, more connections there for a TV outlet as well as right here. A lot of good stuff going for you guys. Right in here you have a complimentary interstate 12 volt deep cycle battery um, already installed for you. If you want, you could install a secondary battery, which I would recommend personally if I had a trailer here. Um, right down here, excuse me, you have low point drains. These are gonna drain your water lines. It's hot and cold. It's a 30 second drain or so. Um, that's just to keep your lines kind of drained. No stagnant water sitting in your lines. Right here. Okay, so I was looking for this. Uh, you have a propane quick connect right down here. You could quick connect a, a low pressure grill of some sort, whatever you would like. Make sure it's low pressure. Open that valve and you could grill off of your front tanks. Awesome feature there. Right here, you have a battery disconnect. This will kill your battery, basically stop your battery from working. Some things like the face of your stereo won't turn off. So when you're storing your trailer, that's where you'll be able to turn that off there. Right here you have a solar charge controller. It keeps your battery at the optimal level. That thing is so awesome. It doesn't overcharge or undercharge your battery. It's the best setup for you in this case. It works with the battery. So even if your battery is disconnected, it'll still triple charge that battery and keep it where it needs to be. Um, sometimes when you're on your 50 amp connection, it overcharges the battery. In that case, in this case, you're gonna be fine here. Um, awesome setup, one of my favorite setups there. You don't have to touch anything on that controller. It basically does its own thing. It'll show you where your battery is at, how much volts you're getting in, how much percent they're charged, all that good stuff. Um, I've asked a few times and the same answer every time, don't touch it, let it do its thing. If you see it's not charging your batteries, then kind of address it at that point. So the last thing for the outside, uh, is our step, beautiful step, great steps. Double side, double sized step at the top, make it easier to get in and out. If you would like, you could get a step rug there to make sure your feet are clean before you get inside there. Make sure your door is all the way open when you pick your steps up. If not, you're gonna ding your screen here. Real light, real easy to use. You can adjust your legs here by pulling these pins if you're at a different type of level here. Pick your steps up, turn your lever, make sure it's downwards. Give it a little tug, make sure it's locked in. We're good to go there. Awesome setup, I love these steps. Turn, pull down. Real light, real easy to use. I could unlock my screen here. I could buy a thin shade that'll snap into my front door if I need more shade there. Um, it's an LCI brand. Um, you have a leash holder slash bottle opener for your Cokes. <laughs> right inside. Right after you. <laughs>